He did once say to me, when a championship was on the line and you get to the last race, I'd always told myself I would never be a loser in that situation when it really, really mattered. You, you come across the line and, and it's, it's history, isn't it? You know, nobody can take that away. It's, that's what you do. So in, in our world, which was everything and has been everything for all of our lives, it's the biggest thing that can ever happen. This could be the ding-dong showdown between these two rivals for the title that we've all been waiting for. Number one leads number two. I would pass Andre and Andre would come back on the inside of me and then I would go back on the outside of him and I enjoy races like that. Even if I had come second, I would have still said that I really enjoyed it because uh, I think that's what motocross is all about. Malherb makes a challenge on the inside and just about gets through, but Thorpe hasn't given up yet and he holds his outside line to stay ahead. As Dave Thorpe takes the chequered flag to win his second World 500cc crown in as many years. And immediately the hundreds of British fans who made the trip to the final Grand Prix hoist Thorpe aloft to salute the new 500cc world champion. Dave Thorpe, champion for the second year running.